The Great Falls community has come together to support a little boy battling a rare disease. Last month, KFBB reported about a fundraiser for seven-year-old Trayson Harrell that raised $17,000. Now, for the first time, Trayson and his mom are sharing the story of his road to recovery. ABC Fox Montana's Melinda Zoss joins us live in the studio. And Melinda, tell us more about Trayson's disease. Ben, right now, Trayson Harrell is battling sickle cell disease. The Centers for Disease Control reports that about 100,000 Americans are fighting this disease that affects the blood cells. But when Lincoln Elementary teacher Amy Harrell's son, Trayson, was diagnosed, it took a while for she and her husband, Eric, to accept the news. Just 10 days after Amy Harrell gave birth to her son, Trayson, a phone call came in that would change her new family's life as they knew it. It was um, December 19th. 2008 and um, it was a Friday. Trayson's pediatrician called to tell Amy something was wrong with her newborn son. We got the news that he was testing positive for sickle cell disease, which was shocking. Sickle cell disease causes abnormally shaped proteins in red blood cells, triggering intense pain and increasing risk for life-threatening medical problems like stroke. And that's probably one of the hardest things is like for Eric and I, we, we didn't know what he was feeling. With a little research, Amy and her husband learned it's traits from both parents that cause the disease in children. We knew tr um, that Eric carried the trait. Um, it's high percentage in African Americans. According to the Centers for Disease Control, about one in 365 African American babies are born with sickle cell disease. However, both parents must carry the trait in order to pass it on to their child. Amy was stunned to learn that she too carried the sickle cell trait. For me, I'm half Dutch. Uh, for, for a Northern European person to carry the sickle cell trait is pretty rare. Trayson was first hospitalized after his first birthday. Then at just 18 months old, he started experiencing the pain that pediatricians had predicted. And then for a parent, for us, I don't want him to tolerate any. Oh, walking boots. Trayson has taken strong medications to manage his pain and then trip after trip to see sickle cell specialists in Colorado. He wanted to be normal. That was something he said. Yeah. I just want to be normal. I, and, I, and when I asked him, well, what does that mean to be normal? And he was like, you know, like not the kid that has to be in the hospital all the time. Trayson has been airlifted to Colorado three times since 2013. One day, the doctors asked Amy and Eric to make a difficult decision. The doctors just were like, how long are you going to keep letting this go on? And that was just like a, oof, it was just like a stab through the heart because I, I knew that we needed to take the next step. The next step, a bone marrow transplant. Without it, doctors said Trayson may not survive to see adulthood. Amy says it was a risk they had to take, so Trayson received the transplant last summer. And the prize at the end of all of this is that he will be normal and cured and we won't have to do this anymore. Now, Amy has put her teaching position at Lincoln Elementary School on hold to care for Trayson. As for Trayson, he says he likes to spend time playing with his friend Caden. And when asked what he wants to be when he grows up, well, he says he's uncertain. That's the one thing I don't know yet. I know. As for Amy, she says ever since that phone call in 2008, she wishes she could just trade places with her son and take all his pain away. And he is just my little munchkin that is so amazing and, and resiliency is an understatement, I think. Now, Trayson still has a very long road to recovery since his bone marrow transplant. If you'd like to help him with his medical expenses, there's a GoFundMe page set up for him. You can also learn more about his road to recovery on his Facebook page called Trayson's Battle with Sickle Cell. And you can also show support, lastly, with hashtag Team Tray that you, you saw there on his t-shirt. That's all over the web now. But I'll have those details up on our own website, kfbb.com. Reporting live in the studio, Melinda Zosh, ABC Fox, Montana News.